The Thai Ridgeback is a dog from Thailand. The Thai Ridgeback is one of only three breeds that has a ridge of hair that runs along its back in the opposite direction to the rest of the coat. The other two are the Rhodesian Ridgeback and the Fuquak Ridgeback. The Thai Ridgeback is one of the oldest and rarest breeds. To accidentally see such an amazing dog on the street is an extraordinary luck. These animals are rarely found outside their homeland, but that is why they are only more appreciated by dog breeders around the world. The character of its representatives gives no less importance to the breed, strong, fearless and unconditionally loyal. Thai Ridgebacks cannot imagine life without two things, long walks and communication with the owner. From this it follows that it is easy to please the dog just by going for a walk with it in the city park and allowing it to stretch its paws in plenty in pursuit of a bowl or frisbee. Highlights Thai Ridgebacks are famous for their independent and stubborn character, which can only be tamed with love and unlimited patience. Dogs cannot stand loneliness and prefer to take an active part in the life of their family. A Thai can turn out to be a good watchman, but one should not expect zealous protection of the territory from him. Ridgebacks manage to get along with most pets, with the exception of decorative rodents and birds. Representatives of the breed are patient with children and rarely show aggression towards them. Thai Ridgebacks require regular physical activity, but do not require walking at fixed times. Despite their ingenuity, Thais are difficult to train because of their wayward behavior. Pets are not suitable for beginner breeders. History of the Thai Ridgeback Breed The four-legged inhabitants of eastern Thailand are among the original breeds, the development of which took place without the interference of breeders, according to the laws of natural selection. The history of Ridgebacks began about three to four thousand years ago, the first mention of the breed dates back to this period of time. They are represented by ancient drawings of Thailand and Cambodia, which depict similar dogs, presumably the ancestors of the Thai Ridgebacks. They can be recognized by their erect ears and crescent-shaped tail. In some places on the backs of animals a characteristic comb of wool is also visible. The ancestors of the Thais found their place in written sources. The Ayat manuscript, dating from the first half of the 17th century, mentions dogs that bear many similarities with modern Ridgebacks. More accurate evidence that would help to trace the history of the breed is lacking, so the origin of these dogs is a secret sealed. Most breeders adhere to the following version, Thai Ridgebacks are the result of an alliance of aboriginal dogs and wild dingoes. Some of the uncertainty is inherent in the homeland of animals. Officially, the island and mainland Thailand is considered the distribution area of the Ridgebacks, but more and more often Indonesia is called the possible habitat of the first representatives of the breed. In a way, dogs are mongrels, if you put the word in the conventional sense. Throughout the history of its existence, Thai Ridgebacks have not interbred with other breeds and appeared in the wild. The hot climate of the country forced the animals to get rid of their massive physique and thick coat. Each generation of Thai mongrels acquired more and more similarities with modern representatives of the breed. The insignificant area of distribution of dogs has become the reason for forced inbreeding, mating of closely related individuals. Animals unsuitable for survival died, giving way to strong and hardy brethren. Then local residents drew attention to them, who needed universal working dogs for hunting and protecting property. The first attempts to domesticate wild animals began. Like all four-legged aborigines, the ancestors of Thai Ridgebacks were distinguished by their freedom-loving and independent disposition. For this reason, animals were dangerous even for their owners, not to mention strangers. However, attempts to domesticate wild dogs did not stop. Ridgebacks were valued for their quick wit and dexterity. These qualities allowed the Thais to use animals as shepherds and draft power. Ridgebacks were no less useful on the hunt. Dogs accompanied the natives in baiting deer, tapers, large wild boars and even birds. The lightning-fast reaction of animals made them indispensable companions for hunters. The courage with which the dogs could rush on dangerous snakes and thereby save the owner from death was also useful. The symbiosis of people and Thai Ridgebacks lasted until the 19th century. Along with the technological progress, colonialists came to the lands of Fuquak Island, Fuquak, who liked charming and unusual dogs. Ridgebacks caused a similar reaction among European merchants who traded with Thai natives. Rumors of a possibly new breed reached the leading dog handlers of the time. Having organized an expedition to Thailand, the dog breeders were amazed, a previously unknown variety of dogs appeared before them. It was impossible not to notice the characteristic feature, the crest growing along the spine, was impossible. Among the known breeds, there were no similar dogs, so the dog handlers decided to popularize the discovered animals. Thailand and Japan were among the first countries to officially recognize Thai Ridgebacks. Other states did not rush to jump to conclusions about the uniqueness of dogs. 
Only three years later, the international canine organization FCI registered a new breed and approved its standard. At that time, the stud books of Ridgebacks numbered more than 5,000 dogs. Although two decades have passed since then, Thais are still one of the least numerous breeds. Thai Ridgebacks are bred, not only in their historical homeland, but also in America, as well as in Europe and Asia. <coughs> Thai Ridgeback. Description of the breed. Thai Ridgebacks have survived almost in their original form to this day. This was facilitated by reproduction in a closed island. The dogs were closely related, which created a unique, colorful breed. The breed standard does not control weight, although it is stated that weight should be appropriate for the height of the dog. For example, a male with a height of 57 to 60 centimeters, at the withers, should have a weight of 28 to 34 kilograms. The preferred height of the bitch is 51 to 56 centimeters, and the weight is in the range of 16 to 25 kilograms. The head of Thai Ridgebacks is built according to the wolf type. The forehead is almost flat, the line is rounded at the side. The transition from forehead to nose is clear, but smoothed. These dogs have well-developed facial muscles, therefore, when the dog is focused, characteristic horizontal folds of skin appear on the forehead, this makes the facial expressions of Ridgebacks bright. The length of the skull to the muzzle is approximately 3 to 2. The nose is straight, slightly tapering towards the muzzle. The lower jaw is powerful, although the muzzle itself looks sophisticated. Dogs of this breed have expressive cheekbones, filled space under the eyes, flat cheeks. The lips are dry, without pronounced pigmentation, fit well to the jaw and hide the teeth. The teeth have a correct bite. The nose is always round and black. The eyes are small, set harmoniously, but a little deep. The iris of the eye has a brown shade, sometimes it is red. The ears are triangular, pointed at the ends, erect, very dynamic. The ears are set low and wide, set slightly forward. The body has a slightly elongated shape, proportional. The neck is slender, but not long, slightly wide and rounded. The withers are pronounced, the back is straight, the croup is round and slightly sloping. The chest is well developed, the ribs are extended. The belly is tight, tucked up. Feet strong, straight, hocks are pronounced. The tail of a ridgeback is proportionally long, strong and resilient, tapering slightly towards the end, and set low. Popular colors of Thai Ridgebacks Thai Ridgebacks are short-haired dogs, although outwardly their body seems to be bald. This is due to the fact that the dog's coat is very short and sparse, moreover, it merges with the color of the dog's skin, which necessarily goes tone on tone. The coat of a Ridgeback must always be glossy, bright and shiny. Hair grows tightly to each other, there is no formal undercoat, but the top layer of hair is very hard and smooth. Ridgeback skin is soft, without folds, breathes well. In fact, among Ridgebacks there is even a classification regarding the length of the coat, short hair, this is the shortest option, in which the hairs fit snugly to the body, velar, will 2 mm long, standard, up to 2.5 mm. It is problematic to single out the type of tie Ridgeback by the length of the coat. This issue is dealt with by experts in this breed. Ridgebacks are always of a solid color, with the skin being the same color as the wool. There should be no spots or individual white hairs. The colors are as follows. Brown, which ranges from front to dark chocolate. Blue, it is better if it is the lightest shade, but darker ones are also allowed. Black Ridgebacks. The red-brown color of Thai Ridgebacks is unique in that pigmented, darker masks are allowed on the muzzles. On the back of Thai Ridgebacks there is a crest, the very ridge, after which they were named. This strip consists of guard hairs, which are turned in the opposite direction and, as it were, stick up. It is necessarily symmetrical, but its width and shape may vary slightly. Dog handlers especially appreciate narrow, well-defined stripes. It is generally accepted that the wider the stripe, the more impurities in the blood this dog has. The Character and Habits of Thai Ridgebacks Thai Ridgebacks are independent and independent dogs. For a long time they lived detached from man, thanks to which they acquired such qualities as unobtrusiveness, tact, and caution in behavior. These dogs are good for keeping in an apartment because they are odorless, do not shed, and are extremely clean. At the same time, Ridgebacks do not like to be alone for a long time, and sooner or later they will require the attention of the owner. Thai Ridgebacks are not aggressive, but they also do not like to be touched by strangers. With poor upbringing, males of this breed can show anger and even become guard dogs. They can actively bark at strangers who encroach on their territory. Ridgebacks have their own opinions and can act independently of the person. They do not like to be treated rudely, so they may respond rudely. Ridgebacks are resourceful and resourceful. The dog must learn to trust its man so that in the future training does not cause difficulties. Ridgebacks do not like systematic repetitions of commands, they are too smart for this type of training. 
If they get bored with the case, they can become stubborn, refuse to carry out commands at all. Fun fact, Thai Ridgebacks get along well with other animals, including cats. The dog only needs to make it clear that the animal will live side by side with him, and the Ridgeback will take this fact for granted. But dogs can react aggressively to foreign animals. For example, they may tolerate a compulsive dog for a walk, but will not tolerate someone else's attention for too long. Ridgebacks love children and play great with them. They are energetic active dogs that need to run a lot and should be given enough positive attention. These dogs should be well educated, otherwise hunting instincts will prevail over them and the Ridgeback will run away from its owner on an impromptu hunt. Interesting facts about Thai Ridgebacks. The Thai Ridgeback dog is the national pride of Thailand. This is the only dog breed bred in this country. Thai Ridgebacks are allowed to be bred only in nurseries in Thailand and all their crosses are regulated by the Sinological Association. Thai Ridgebacks need an individual training regimen, which must be selected by the trainer. Otherwise, the dog will not be able to educate, it will be capricious and willful. In addition, Ridgebacks never see people as masters, it is only possible to cooperate with them, but not to command them. Because of this, it is generally accepted that these dogs have a feline character. Ties love attention. If they want affection, they will impose themselves, climb into their arms and suck up to people in every possible way. In the family, they love to be in the center, love to play, and everywhere follow their man. The slightest manifestation of aggression towards the Thai Ridgeback can turn into a collapse, the dog will forever become unfriendly to people. Thai Ridgebacks tend to analyze the situation. Thanks to intelligence, with age, dogs growing in close contact with people will be able to understand a person perfectly. They perceive gestures, facial expressions and emotions well, so in training you need to rely on these aspects. Pros and cons of Thai Ridgebacks. The advantages of the Thai Ridgeback breed include the following points, amazing intelligence and independence in decision making. Thanks to this, Thai Ridgebacks are good hunters, wonderful guards and attentive companions. You can even leave children with them. In competent hands, Thai Ridgebacks are well trained. They know how to trust the owner and perform the most difficult tasks. Aesthetic appearance. Dogs are clean. Will not bring dirt home, will not eat bad food. Dogs are very hardy. Thai Ridgebacks are very loyal to their family if properly raised. In this case, the dogs are ready to protect the owner in any circumstances. The disadvantages of Thai Ridgebacks are the following, Thai Ridgebacks are very wayward dogs. They do not like to execute uninteresting commands, often defend their point of view, and are harmful. Only an individual training program can influence these dogs. During walks, you need to closely monitor the dog, they are good hunters, so they can get carried away in pursuit of prey. Better not to have a Thai Ridgeback with other animals. Although they are loyal to them, they are very jealous and will draw attention to themselves. Thai Ridgebacks do not accept any aggression or physical violence. They remember such phenomena and are ready to take revenge. Summing up, we can say, the Thai Ridgebacks are suitable for people who know how to raise dogs. Starting a Ridgeback, a person gets a loyal companion and a reliable companion who will not let the family be offended, will not touch the children, and will show his dignity with his whole appearance. Thai Ridgeback Care Thai Ridgebacks are unpretentious in care. These dogs feel great both in the house and in the apartment. But in no case should they be kept outside. Firstly, dogs will begin to feel sad for their owners because they need to be close to their owners. Secondly, the dog has a high risk of colds and other diseases, Ridgebacks do not tolerate cold very well. These dogs do not have a smell and short hair requires a minimum of care. In fact, they have a molt, but it goes almost imperceptibly. In February or March, the wool comes out for two weeks. The wool is smooth and dense, therefore it does not settle on clothes and does not get stuck in carpets. By themselves, Thai Ridgebacks do not like to wallow in the mud, so they often don't need to be washed. After a walk, it is enough to wipe your paws with wet wipes. Dogs need to be bathed no more than four times a year, as their skin is very sensitive, frequent bathing causes allergic reactions. It is better to use special gentle shampoos and balms that do not cause allergies and irritations. If the Thai Ridgeback does get dirty, then it can be washed without using shampoo. An important fact, the coat must be brushed with a soft rubber mitt. This normalizes blood circulation, and dogs really enjoy this massage. During molting, this combing should be done daily. You need to walk Thai Ridgebacks often, but you should not load it with physical activity, the dog itself knows how much energy it needs to spend every day. After a year of life, the load evenly increases to two hours of activity per day. The ears of Thai Ridgebacks also need to be cleaned regularly. They must be inspected and rinsed. It is best to do this with a cotton swab dipped in lukewarm water. Do not use cotton swabs, including going deep into your ears. 
The claws of Thai Ridgebacks are worn down during walks, but sometimes they can be trimmed. Teeth should be brushed twice a week with dog products. Thai Ridgebacks eat well both homemade food and dry food. It is important not to mix these foods as this will imbalance the dog's nutrition. It is best to choose premium food, as cheap food causes allergies and stomach problems. Diseases and health problems. Due to the fact that dogs interbred with each other for a long time, forming close family ties, the genetic diversity of Thai Ridgebacks is very scarce. Therefore, dogs are susceptible to certain diseases, some of which are congenital. Hip dysplasia is inherited and leads to destruction of the joint cavity. Because of this, the dog begins to limp, shows a minimum of activity, staggers. In the last stages of the development of the disease, the dog may stop walking altogether. It is impossible to diagnose this disease immediately, so dogs of this breed should be constantly examined by a veterinarian. Dermoid sinus, this disease is also inherited. A sinus is a tunnel that lies on the surface of the skin to soft tissue. In case of illness, the tube becomes inflamed, subcutaneous fat and skin particles enter it. Sometimes wool can grow into it. This pathology can only be diagnosed in adults when the body is fully formed. The disease can only be eliminated by surgery. Thigh ridge back. Price and how to buy correctly. Thigh ridge backs are a very rare breed. Therefore, you can buy a puppy only for a very large amount, from 800 to 25,000 euros. The cost depends on the puppy's pedigree and the achievements of its parents. Buying a puppy from hands is highly discouraged. A pet market is also a bad choice. An adult dog is also not worth buying, even if it is sold with documents. The Thai Ridgeback will not get used to the new owner and will rebel against him in every possible way. Important fact, when examining a puppy, pay attention to the folds on its body. With age, they will smooth out, but by their location one can judge the purebredness of the dog. Puppies must have hanging ears, they will rise at the age of 4 months. All puppies, except for silver and blue, should have a black nose. The muzzle is strictly wedge-shaped, the lips fit tightly to the mouth. Puppy's tongue should be blue with models, although sometimes this will show up as they get older. By the time the puppies are handed out to the owners, their teeth should already erupt. It is worth checking all the documents, when the vaccinations were made, who the parents are, what is the pedigree in general. All health certificates must be present, and breeders attach a care and feeding memo to puppies of this breed. Thai Ridgeback bitches are always more expensive. The Thai Ridgeback is an ancient dog that has retained the features of excellent hunters. Thanks to their keen intellect, they became good companions for people. Despite their independent character and self-esteem, Ridgebacks need the attention of the owner and are very emotional dogs.